You are listening to Weather from the National Weather Service. This is the National Weather Service forecast discussion for Chicago. <clears throat> this was written 5.56 p.m. Central Standard Time, Tuesday, November 5th, 2022. Short-term forecast issued 3.11 p.m. Central Standard Time, Tuesday, November 15th, 2022. Through tomorrow night, Wednesday night, the main issue in the short term are the threat for lake effect snow in far northeast Illinois tonight, and snow showers or lake effect snow, a combination of the two in northwest Indiana on Wednesday. National Weather Service has canceled much of the winter weather advisory early. Surface observations and webcams show that most of the precipitation has switched over to rain this afternoon, except along the Wisconsin border, and even their webcams are showing roads to be mainly wet. Have hung on to the advisory for Lake County. Observations at Waukegan are still below a mile in snow, with one hour precipitation totals at 0.11 inches between 2 to 3 p.m. This suggests that snow accumulations upward of an inch. Webcams in this area still show some slushy roads. Band of snow continues to edge westward in southeast corner of Wisconsin, extending southeast to near Evanston. The latest high-resolution rapid refresh model shows this continuing for a few more hours and breaking up somewhat this evening before the trough axis starts to shift southward. That should happen overnight. Another inch or two of snow is possible over Lake County, though the latest HRRR high-resolution rapid refresh run has started to keep the heaviest snow showers just offshore overnight. We're going to have to keep an eye on future runs to see how established this trend remains. An upper low over South Dakota will open up some as it drops into western Iowa overnight with a strong trough swinging across the western Great Lakes region on Wednesday. Snow showers expected to become fairly widespread over northern Illinois by midday as the MUCAPES increased to around 100J slash KK, KG. Toward mid or late afternoon, surface winds over the lake turn more northwest and the northwest Indiana lake effect snow threat increases. National Weather Service is expecting 1 to 2 inches of snow across portions of Lake and Porter counties during the afternoon and evening on Wednesday, though the main corridor looks to set up just east of there. Elsewhere, a few tenths of accumulations are expected with the snow showers, though gusty winds and visibility drops will accompany these showers. Moving on to the long term, issued 3.11 p.m. forecast discussion Thursday through Tuesday. A couple systems will seep across the Great Lakes late week as the unseasonably cold Arctic air continues over the region. Additional snow showers are expected Thursday as one wave passes, though perhaps not quite as widespread as the previous day. A stronger clipper system sweeps through on Saturday. The bulk of the precipitation from this latter system looks to largely stay to the north of the metro, but some 20-30-ish percent chances will be included close to the lake. The coldest of the Arctic outbreak is expected late week as the European Computer Model Extreme Forecast Index is on the extreme end of a 9, or to be exact, a minus 0.9 or so for Friday. Highs are only expected to be in the lower to mid-20s on Friday and again on Sunday. As a comparison, this would be about 10 degrees below the normal lows for Friday and the record cold high temperatures are 19 at Chicago and Rockford back in 2014. Mercifully, (laughs) the pattern finally starts to change early next week as the upper flow starts to come more from the Pacific. Highs return to the 40s in many areas by Tuesday 
and the 8 to 14 day outlook covering the period through Thanksgiving favors above normal temperatures. The aviation forecast concerns, we have a prolonged period of light snow with a mix of rain and snow this evening with the marginal to near surface temperature wet bulbs before column slowly cools. Scattered heavier snow showers expected just north to, in northeast of O'Hare Airport and midway this evening. Scattered heavier snow showers Wednesday midday in the afternoon. Though brief LIFR ceilings possible this evening, mainly IFR cloud bases expected through Wednesday morning before a gradual improvement in MVFR except IFR and snow showers through the afternoon visibilities. Through the afternoon visibilities, generally IFR, MYFR with some fog as well. Weak area of surface low pressure over Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky, which tracks slowly northeast into the eastern Great Lakes through Wednesday morning, while weaker surface trough lingers across southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois through the period. Nearly saturated low levels will produce persistent light precipitation within this trough, initially in the form of light rain or snow this evening, but eventually transitioning to mainly light snow tonight as low-level winds turn more west to northwesterly and the column slowly cools. Areas of lake effect in, or lake-enhanced precipitation, mainly falling as snow over eastern Lake County and northeast Cook County, Illinois, just north and northeast of O'Hare Airport and Midway, is expected to remain largely north and northeast of the Chicago terminals and eventually shift into northwest Indiana on Wednesday. However, a series of mid-level waves will modulate lightly higher precipitation or light snow intensity this evening and again Wednesday midday afternoon. Forecast soundings depict some cooling aloft on Wednesday which may support more convective-like snow showers with intermittent IFR visibilities. Snow or snow shower coverage should diminish Wednesday evening as the main upper trough begins to shift off to the east of the area. This should allow improvements to VFR visibilities and gradually lifting MVFR ceilings by that time. Surface winds are currently in the process of becoming more west to northwesterly early this evening and should remain there for the duration of the forecast period. Winds will increase gradually to around 10 knots Wednesday and some gusts into the 15 knot range can't be ruled out in the afternoon. Hazardous weather outlook issued at 4.08 p.m. Tuesday, November 15th. This includes Cook County. This hazardous weather outlook is for portions of north central Illinois, northeast Illinois, northwest Indiana. For tonight, weather hazards expected elevated snow risk for northeast Illinois. Discussion lake effect snow showers are expected through tonight across the northeast Illinois. Across far northeast Illinois, some of these may produce bursts of heavy snow with rates of one half to one inch per hour on a localized basis. This may result in continued impacts evening commute. Day two through seven, Wednesday through Monday, Wednesday and Thursday, limited snow risk. The discussion another period of accumulating lake effect snow is expected Wednesday into Wednesday evening, primarily across northwest Indiana and particularly across northern Lake and Porter counties. Gusty snow showers are expected to develop across the rest of the region Wednesday and again Thursday afternoon and evening with additional spotty accumulations. Spotter activation will not be necessary through tonight. Very quick weather story from the National Weather Service. Winter weather in the Northeast. Strong Santa Ana winds will impact Southern California. Snow and mixed wintry precipitation will impact travel from the Midwest, across the Appalachians and into the Northeast. A winter storm warning has been issued for Northern Maine as heavy snow is expected on Wednesday. Heavy lake effect snow will impact several areas downwind of the Great Lakes midweek into the weekend. Strong Santa Ana winds will impact Southern California through Wednesday. That brings the National Weather Service discussion, hazardous weather outlook, and weather story to an end.
for this Tuesday evening. The one thing that was not discussed that would be nice to discuss is the marine synopsis, which includes the actual barometric pressure of some of these systems that are moving through the Midwest over the next 24 to 48 hours and even the East Coast. The Lake Superior one and the Lake Ontario ones are the ones that are most produ uh, productive. We will not be doing that at this time. I hope people found this helpful.